sin. Run. Fuck holes! He's got a gun! Run! Congratulations on the movie. I thought it was absolutely hysterical, really loved it, and such a fantastic part for you to be playing. Right? I mean, you would we'll, we'll never expect me to play this guy. Marshall Cook, the director, says, it's the role you always thought you'd never see Andy. What? I, you know, I let him tell you. It's like the role that you thought you you never wanted to always see him sometimes at some point. You're gonna, it's gonna be in your face. Who knew it? I don't remember how he puts it. <laughs> but it's like something about like the role that you would, that you, it, it'll surprise you. Oh, that's funny. You know who else said that to me? Yeah, who? Your mother! <laughs> like a dangerous rubber band, isn't he? Now, speaking of in your face, you, you have some moments where um, certain parts of you are in other people's faces. Um, let's talk about that. Did you make any friends while filming? Or? Georgia Ann hired me because I'm a spectacle. Exactly. I'm a head turner. Well, if it's a song and dance they're looking for, then it's a song and dance that they're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can we, how blue can we get on this, in this interview? Can we use nasty words? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, totally. Can. Oh, it's online, oh, yeah. So, Absolutely. yeah, it's, it it, it's the infamous nutsack scene. I, you know, it's, yes, my, I made friends with, um, how do you put it, with a, one of the extras, and he turned out to be a super extra, um, meaning he would just do anything on the set. He would be there early, we late, and he was willing for me to, to teabag him. While he's lifting weights, I'm spotting him, my character's over his face, and my nuts are creeping out of my shorts and landing square on his face. And he did enjoy it. <laughs> when, when you get ready for scenes like that, is it, um, is it a different preparation? Do you take better care to make sure everything is... Well, there's no Meisner better? technique. Oh, okay. you're getting, there's no Stanislavski. There might be a little... Stand up sack. No Special ball acting skills. No, or there's anything. nothing. The only thing for me was to line them up so it looked like the, my my nuts were coming out of the side of my shorts naturally. And that really is, you know, it's preparation because they can't just be gratuitously hanging out. They have to just kind of be peeking out. Like, how would they? Be? And I, I did put some thought into it. It's interesting because the director, writer, other star of the film is Marshall, and you have a scene where you're attached to his back, Yoda style. You get to smack him around a whole lot. What's that like, freedom-wise, when you're working with a director that you can be that physical with and, and get away with it? Marshall was very generous with letting me, like I said, scream in his face. I'm, I'm, I'm spitting on him. Uh, it was another, the, the, the guy that I was hanging on during pull-ups was another actor that does look like him. His, his name is Gavin. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, you son of a... Um, he's a football player, and, and he's a real football player. There was a lot of real football, well, Marshall's a real football player. He was a quarterback for whatever, nine years or however long. And there's a scene where I slap him hard, and he said, you know what? Let's end this scene with a slap. Just slap me. I'm like, really? I think it was a day where I wanted to. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And I mean, I slap him hard. I need you to prick it up. Prick it up. Fucking win, bitch! And his reaction is very real. His reaction, you can see it. He's like, okay, I can't. My character wouldn't hit him back, but I would. <laughs> you can see him holding it in like he wants to hit me back, but he can't because he's in a character. What is, um, with all the you know people that you've worked with, what was your impression of Marshall when you guys first started working together? Because you did a bunch of shorts together, and then this is uh, then also... Um, Danny Rohn. Danny Rohn, right. Yeah. Um, well, in D Danny Rohn was my first, and to date, only movie that I've written and directed. Marshall kind of pushed me as a producer to get it done. And uh, he also had a small part in, in that movie. But he got that movie done. Uh, as a producer and, and, and completely inspired me to do it. And then 
He reminds me of a young Judd Apatow, because I knew Judd Apatow, I still know, but I knew him when he just started on the Ben Stiller show. You know, he was the head writer. And I remember thinking, God, I got this, this is back then, 25 years ago, looking at Judd going, God, he just works too much. He's just, he works too hard, and he's just always in the office, never, I think he was sleeping there. And that's how Marshall is. This is exactly the kind of thing that is gonna get us some publicity. I know you guys have been touring the country with this, going to different colleges, and- Shut the fuck up! Do you know where we are? We're in a small, private, liberal arts college. Huh? They'd rather spend their money on faggoty arts and, and, and crafts and such. Pottery. This, is, this has been a grassroots campaign to get the word out there about the movie because it's very, very small budget. Image bought the movie. They gave us a little, little bit of money here. It, was a, it fit in the palm of two hands like this. Here, do a little tour if you want, have fun. And we went on this tour in an SUV. Me, the director, and two camera guys, because we documented the whole thing. And yeah, schools, little theaters, universities, it's unanimous. All, laughter, not just here and there. It's, it's not one of those movies where you look at the trailer and all the funny parts are in the trailer. It's, there is laughter throughout the whole movie. Every time. What was the most surprising question you had to feel from people? The surprising thing is that the questions are almost identical. People want to know the same things in every city. I even say in the Q&A, please surprise me and try to ask me a question that I haven't heard. Because the questions, they just want to know the same thing. So now at the Q&A, we try to get those answers out before they even start asking questions. That's what I've been trying to initiate. So that we can get to something else, anything. It's also really interesting because in the midst of all of the comedy and everything that's going on, these football sequences are incredibly exciting, fantastically shot, like Friday Night Lights style. Well, that's because Marshall Cook, the director and co-star, is a uh, football player. And he wanted the movie to have that authenticity. Like, this is a football movie. <laughs> But he always would say it's a comedy first, football movie second, and uh, he hired Scott Ruggles. Scott Ruggles is a coach that was at uh, Marshall. Uh, you know that movie, We Are Marshall, but he really was the coach at that university. Is it a university or a high school? I don't even fucking know. It's kind of like hiring the Bob Fosse of Broadway. We hired the, 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 we hired the Bob Fosse of the football field to say, okay, then you pirouette and catch the ball. Well, there is that one sequence at the very end where the guy jumps on, so it's like an amazing ending. Left, Kabrima takes a low snap, avoids the rush, spins, Kabrima scrambling. Let's go, a laser beam, Dix comes down with the ball, touchdown, Luka! So the football sequences are real, and people got injured, and people are really getting hit, and and taking falls, and I'm beating the hell out of them. And they were lucky they were bad. <laughs> well, it's, it really is. I mean, I think it's the, the perfect combination of all those things that you mentioned. Yes. And, uh, you know, I hope people get out there and seek it out. I mean, it's going to be a limited theatrical release, but then also DVD and yes. video on demand. Is that right? Video on demand, November 18th. And then in January, you can buy the DVD. You can see it on Netflix. It'll be everywhere. Um, uh, it'll, there's a, there's a there's a limited theatrical release in New York, LA, and my living room. Everybody's welcome.